The Guam Community College is following in the footsteps of the University of Guam when it comes to making sure they have strict sexual harassment policies in place. PNC's Rosa Romanes has more in the support. The Guam Community College is in the process of strengthening their sexual harassment policy. GCC, the University of Guam, and the Guam Department of Education are preparing for a roundtable discussion tomorrow with Speaker Judy Wanpat about what policies are in place to protect students from sexual harassment, misconduct, or assault. The GCC has a, a sexual harassment policy, policy 185, that's on our website, and that policy has been working very well for us and it is a strong policy. But what we are doing now is that we are strengthening the policy. According to GCC's current sexual harassment policy, sexual harassment and sexual assault will not be tolerated in any part of the college's programs, services, and activities. Flores points out that GCC only had one reported case of sexual harassment, and it did not involve a student. It involved employees. Also, in the past five years, she says there were no criminal charges filed against any employees for sexual harassment, and no sexual harassment complaints were filed against GCC with an equal employment Opportunity Commission. Flores says GCC is looking to further strengthen their policy by adding in a couple of items. One is zero tolerance. The practice at GCC is zero tolerance. Zero tolerance for relationships between faculty and students, relationships between subordinates, a, 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 a administrator subordinates, someone who has a uh, an administrative or a higher position than someone else. We've had zero tolerance. But what we haven't had is that exact phrase in the policy. Another change to the policy GCC is proposing is to add affirmative consent. Well, affirmative consent is something that I believe is a, a practice that's being added into policies on many college campuses. And that, um, in a nutshell, what affirmative consent means is that both parties have to affirm verbally their consent to the action that is about to take place. Then, depending on the severity of the situation, Flora says it can lead to three things. Proven violations can lead to one of three things. One of them is demotion, suspension, or termination. Flores says this is just a draft of their new sexual harassment policy and they have yet to present it to the Board of Trustees on March 11 for approval. Flores explains that GCC is committed to providing a safe and comfortable learning and working environment for students and employees. Rosal Romanes, PNC News. The roundtable discussion will be held tomorrow, March 2nd, at the Guam Legislature at 2 p.m.